Hi, welcome back to next session in Adobe Form. And in this lesson, we will learn how to make use of conditional break for page break. Like in smart form, like sometime we use that command concept for the page break. Okay, based on some condition, we want to go to the next page. For example, here in our is Adobe form, we are displaying one table data, and here we can see this, uh, different sales document numbers 256, 257. And consider a requirement like we want to display only one sales document type on each page. And for new sales document type, sales order number, we want it should go to the next page. Or second option may be on each page, you want to display only a max 5 record or 10 record. So in both this case, we can make use of page break via conditional break. So for that, for example, we are displaying our data using this gt underscore i tab, this, using this data. Okay, this is the header, this footer, and using this data, we are displaying the data. So whenever we want to add the conditional break, we have to select that body row that is data then in the properties of that data we go to object there we have option one tab as a pagination and in the pagination here we have one option as conditional currently it is zero because there is no condition is added so we have to click on this edit button here after that we can see a a small editor and initially you have to click this plus icon after clicking plus we can see a editor like this and as we can use two type of scripting language in Adobe form one is javascript <coughs> second is form calc so based on our requirement we can use both so javascript here like very simple for example i want to i want a page break for every needs of sales document number. So simply select here after clicking on this icon, select VBLN. So default code will appear. We don't have to write any code here and the page break will work. And second option, like in case if you want to achieve a page break based on condition like you want to display only five record or 10 record, then in that case here in the language we have to select form calc or and we can use the module operator of JavaScript, that is mod index plus one. And here I'm using five. For example, you want to break the page after five record. Then here we have to use this five. And this EQ zero means when this, this statement is zero, then when this statement is true, then the page break will appear. And for example, instead of five, you want to page break after 10 records. Then here we have to use 10. It is very simple code. So let's log into our Adobe form system and see how to make use of this conditional break. Here, go to T code SFP. This is the form I created. We have created like ZK ADF 06 underscore MP. That is master page. In that we learn how to display table on different pages. So currently here, if I am executing this form, so here we can see n number of records on each page. Okay. So first we'll learn how to make it a JavaScript and then we'll see the form KLC option. Fine. So go to change mode, go to layout, Now here on this layout, this is a table through which I'm displaying the data. This is the header, this is body, and this footer. So we have to go to food data, that is body. And this we can do only on the sub form with the float option. If it is not float, if it is position, that is not possible, right? Because you want to achieve a page break. Right? 
here you can see this is float we can do this only subform with the float option okay so go to data here and here if you're not able to see this object go to palette and select object here or first go to workplace or reset palette location and then under the same select object if you're not able to see this okay so now here we have to go to pagination and here we can see currently conditional are zero now click on edit click on this plus icon first we'll <coughs> do this with the javascript run at client and here we have to select the when condition when we want a page break so here i want a page break whenever there is a new vbeln okay so after that we can see a default code here javascript code okay this is default code generated by system no need to do any changes here you can copy in text file and you can see this text you can read this code completely fine here we have two options before and after when we want this page break to be appear means before execution of this statement or after this okay so we'll keep before as it is and now here when we want to go so i want to go to the top of next page so here in the two i will select top of next page in case if you are using subtotal and all so you can select that also here okay so important thing is like when condition and this break before or after click on ok now you can see here one condition i will save this close activate the form effect execute enter the customer number 81 effect now see here the number of pages are increased so on this first page we can see only one sales document number 256 I'm pressing page down 257. So now on each page, you can see only single document number. In this demo system, very rare I have like sales document with two, three records. Otherwise, all are like single, single record only. But here we can see on each page, you can see only single document. <coughs> right? So this we achieve through the JavaScript concept. Okay. Now let's see one more example using form calc using that mod operator. Okay, mod index plus one five equal to zero. That concept we'll learn now. Go to layout again. Again, I will select that table data edit. Okay, this we have seen. This is default code. This dot result date data minus one VBLN not equal to null this is not equal to sign okay if it is not null and system is checking the vbln raw value with the current raw value if we raise value is not equal to current raw value then the page break will appear okay now let's select here form calc and we have to delete all this delete complete code now write that code mod index plus one comma five i want page break after five records okay first we'll see what index is space one comma five this means that if this equation is true if the output is zero then this will work okay form calc client mod index one five fine and now here I will select OK. Save. Close this. Activate the form. Effect. Here select 81. 
now see the output previously on each page only one document was getting displayed now instead of vbln what we did like i have changed the code for mod 5 okay i'm i want to display five record on each page so 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 this between four records 1 2 3 4 5 now you can see five records on each page okay so here you can see five record on the each page basically it is counting the number of rows i guess like header also it is counting okay now let's change to uh, change this to 10 so based on our requirement we can do this now i will change the same code to 10 select data go to edit now instead of 5 i want 10 record to be displayed on each page Activate the form. Effect. 81. Now see here. Now you can see more number of records. Okay. Now you can see more number of records here. So based on our requirement, how we want data to be displayed, we can use this page break concepts. This is the last page, as, as only three records are remaining and no page break after that. So on the last page, we can see this total. Fine. So depending on our business requirement, we can use this page break concept. Sometime we might require, suppose we are we have created the adder form to display only one sales document type but our requirement is for each new item we want a page break so in that case using that javascript concept instead of vbln use postnar so on each page you can display only one line item that might be sometime requirement fine so based on the our requirement we can use the conditional break using the two option either with javascript or funcalci so in this way we done with this session. In next, we learn some new topic. Thank you.